Team USA Basketball announced its women's roster for the 2024 Olympics in Paris and in what might be the most incomprehensible, idiotic, and downright pathetic decision I've ever seen in sports, they left Caitlin Clark off the roster. A girl who should be an automatic inclusion for a team that's going to go out to spread the game around the globe. Not only did they leave her off, but the reason why they left her off is absolutely infuriating. According to two separate sources who were veterans of USA Basketball, they said Caitlin Clark was left off the team over concerns for how her fan base would react to her most likely getting limited minutes because she's on a team with the 12 best players on the planet. What? Caitlin Clark is being left off of the Olympics team because of her fans? The WNBA and, 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 and women's basketball is leaving a player off their team because she has too many fans? Do you know how fucking insane that is? And to come up with this hypothetical situation that may or may not occur in the future based on playing time that Caitlin Clark may or may not get, that's the reason why you're going to stand in front of one of the most electric basketball players on the planet playing for her country? Do you know how fucking crazy that sounds? Just like Angel Reese and Kennedy Carter need to come up and come out and say, I don't like this girl, Team USA needs to come out and say, I don't want to deal with the Twitter backlash for when she only plays six or eight minutes a game. Just, just own up to it. Just say you're afraid of the smoke, afraid of the heat you're going to get, because that's all I'm hearing. Otherwise, this is, this is completely crazy, and honestly, they should be ashamed of themselves. This, especially when you're talking about the Olympics, where the Olympics is about the sport itself, and the competition, and the future of the game, and growing it. And you're going to leave Caitlin Clark off that team? A team that's going to go all to Paris to play the entire rest of the world, where every little girl from every country in the world is going to be watching? And you don't have Caitlin Clark there to, to hit logo threes or to just be there pre-game and post-game. Be there to take pictures and sign autographs and spread the game. There is, there's no excuse for that. This stage of women's basketball, and particularly right now with this revolution they're having, is about still growing the sport. We're still in the infancy of trying to make it popular and getting it over the hump. And that needs to be done by a team and a league and a committee and, in a, whole, and a whole entity that is rowing in the same direction. These women were all about growing the game when they thought they were going to be the ones to grow it. And all of a sudden, when it turned out to be someone else, well, now they're standing in her way. Now they're, now they're doing everything they can to stop that growth from happening. If you send this team off as comprised, nobody's watching. Nobody except the original WNBA diehards, which we know is a very, very small group. And for what? Why did we leave her off? To send Diana Taurasi to her sixth Olympics? Diana Taurasi is the second most decorated FIBA athlete ever. She's got five gold medals. She's played in 148 games for Team USA. She's 41 years old. Her legacy is cemented. She's done it. It's over for her. It's time to hang it up and let the new sensation shine on a global platform. Because that's what this is about. We don't want to watch Brittany Griner and Diana Taurasi. I thought Diana Taurasi was retired. I couldn't even believe she was still playing. Because yes, you want to win in the Olympics. But the Olympics is also all about celebrating the sport. And you cannot tell the story of women's basketball right now without Caitlin Clark. You don't even have to play her. Like you said, there are it's going to be the 12 best players in the world and she might not see any minutes at all because she's still young and she's still not physical enough and there's a million reasons. Seniority, all of that. But we don't care. You got to put her out there. Like I see these tweets from Evan Turner saying if you're mad about Caitlin Clark and not about this other player who got snubbed, then consider yourself a casual. Yes, I consider myself a casual. And like hundreds of millions of people and little girls out there are casuals who know this girl and want to see her, even if it's for two minutes a game, one three-pointer a game, whatever. Even if they just see her on the bench or up on the podium. Yes, we're all casual fans who want to see that. And no, putting together the 12 best players in the world to make the best team, that's not what's best for viewership. 
good WNBA basketball is not entertaining. And it, not, it has not been up until this moment when Cl- Caitlin Clark and everyone coming after her started to shoot the lights out. So no, it's not about putting the best out there. We don't care about that. We just want to be excited by women's basketball. And there is one girl that does that. And you can't find one roster spot for that. That is downright pathetic. If Christian Leitner could make the 92 Dream Team standing in between Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson, then we can find a spot for Caitlin Clark on the 2024 team.